Greetings folks, Justin here from Poslinks with a another Lynx software training demonstration. Today we're going to show you setting up the sales terminals in UniWorld Lynx. Um, this is obviously specific to the UniWorld package. Uh, there's a separate um, tutorial for Sharp Lynx for setting up sales terminals and there will be another one coming along for Sam Lynx at another time. So we've got a cash register the Uniwell cache register that we want to connect to the software. We go to the data menu, down to sales terminals. Now you can see we've got one set up there already, so we'll use that to demonstrate what the different options are. Uh, so we'll modify that one. Now, to be perfectly honest, a lot of this requires the assistance of your Uniwell cache register dealer or your Lynx software service provider. Most of these settings you wouldn't want to be changing um, yourself regularly unless you've got the expertise to do so. But we'll just run through a few of the parts of this screen so you can see uh, what's what. So up the top here, obviously the code and the description, they are um, internal as far as Uniwell Lynx is concerned, so we could change the description to main bar or um, you know, tuck shop, whatever we want to demonstrate, you know, give us an idea of where the, this cash register belongs. Now over here, if you've got the multi-location module um, enabled, then you associate the cash register with a location. Now just here, I'll just quickly show you this tab first. If you've got multiple price levels for your uh, system, uh, you would set them up here so you can have different price levels in Uniwell links and then you can map them through your system as you need as you desire to uh, so you could say for instance that you know this is a bistro price and a member's price for instance uh, in if this was like a, a bar or a, a hotel scenario now back on this general tab let's just break this screen up into a few sections this section here where I've got the mouse circling at the moment is predominantly uh, communication information so you've got a model number and the version of that model the connection type so whether it's serial or FTP or whatever it might be now these settings here this is the IP address of the cash register and here we've got some other settings that uh, are in the register that need to be uh, also in the software here. Now, Uniwell Links has the ability to extract the information from the cash register and then push the information to either an FTP server or a file folder. And the reason why you would do that is so you could have another package, say a uh, head office package, that comes in and collects the sales from the file folder and um, you know, brings it all together in a head office scenario. So once again, if you're ever going to use these settings or modify these settings, you'd really want to be talking to your support provider. And down the bottom here, we've got the program or the PLU program, uh, the different set of items that you're going to send to the cash register, and the clerk program. Now, the, the time zone is just um, what you, where you are, so we, the Uniwell links can tell what time to send to the cash register. Now this EDF file, uh, there's a programming utility that Uniwell provides called PLM2000, and Uniwell links will actually integrate with that because there are things that you can program in PLM2000 that you can't program in Uniwell links. So Uniwell links does an integration. Um, with that PLM2000 and this is the data file for PLM2000 uh, th th this is its location now if you don't know or if you don't have an EDF file to link to the register and you want one what you can do is under communications go to PLM link and with these unticked it can extract all the information back from the cash register to PLM and then you can save that as an EDF file and then link it into 
uh, uni well links. Again, you would be doing this under the uh, instruction of your service provider or uni well cash register dealer. Uh, okay, now over here, send program selection, we can choose different items that we want to send or not send to the cash register if we don't want to program them from here um, we want to program them manually in the register or we don't want them touched then we could untick certain items from here and the collect sales options is also where we would um, decide what information sales information we want to extract from the register so for instance you might say well I don't want to get the hourly sales out of the register I don't want them in my system. Another option you can do is if you've got a scenario where you want the users of the cash register to perform a Z1 at the cash register, you can say, well, for the general Z, UniWell Links will talk to Z2, not Z1. So when they do a Z1, the information gets transferred to Z2, and uh, UniWell Links will extract the information from there. That's something that procedurally needs to be figured out by yourself and your UniWell dealer so that you can get your system running properly. So that's the explanation of the settings in that screen. Uh, hopefully that makes some sense and you can see what all those things are for. Now we'll just show you a comms test. Oh, just before we go there, the UniWell cash register needs some programming done in it so that it talks to UniWell links. This is a setup cheat sheet that you can have a look at and the UniWell dealer will set these things up so that the cash register will talk to the software. So it's just another little um, help that uh, Link Software provides so that you can set your system up properly. Now let's have a quick look at a comms test to show you how that looks. take a couple of seconds but just to demonstrate the, the process alright so that's now completed the cash registers talking to UniWell links uh, we'll have other tutorials in a, uh, that we develop for uploading sales and down and sending program down to the, um, the cash register but that's the basics for setting up the system alright if you've got any questions about that uh, contact your UniWell cash register dealer or your Link software uh, support provider. And if you want to know what uh, we provide at POSLINKS as far as support and training for UniWell Links, just have a look at our blog, poslinks.wordpress.com. Okay, thanks very much.